Well, we began as a teen theater project in the summertime with 16 kids who each paid $10 to be part of something at the time we just called the uh, Cincinnati Summer Theater Project for Teens because we didn't know what to call it. And it went so well that then we essentially formed a club, for lack of a better term, called Cincinnati Young People's Theater. And by 1990, that little club had grown to the size where, by IRS regulations and things, you had to uh, create a nonprofit corporation because it, or association actually, because it was it was making enough money that IRS would have to be notified of it. So that was from 1982 to 1990. 1991, luckily having incorporated that way. The organization then became the producing organization for the Showboat Majestic. So it went from a teen theater company to a all-around theater company, a summer stock company, let's call it that way, and a teen theater company. And then in 2002, that then organization grew up another step by taking on this facility which, in which we stand today, the Cobedale Performing Arts Center. Um, so today, this little theater group for teenagers is now a, a theater, a nonprofit theater corporation under the name Cincinnati Landmark Productions. We own and operate the Covedale Performing Arts Center. We operate the Showboat Majestic for the city of Cincinnati. And we still have our fabuloso teen theater project called Cincinnati Young People's Theater. Our mission statement overall is, is uh, to do two basic things. And it has, I, I could read it to you, but it's kind of boring. I'll encapsulate it. Essentially, it's, it's to, uh, provide a real continuum of performing arts programming and opportunity for so for young people through adults um, for uh, for our patrons as well as our performers and the other thing is honestly is to be involved and beneficial to the uh, communities in which we we are located so whether it's here at the Cobedale and the West Price Hill Westwood Nexus or even in the, in the fact that running the showboat we're very dedicated to its historic preservation and its very unique place in the history of theater and in the history of Cincinnati. The showboat is a historic landmark so you really can't do a lot for it except restore it which we have done or helped do. Uh, here at the Covedale um, we've done so many great renovations um, and expansion even this past year in the amount of seats and whatnot but um, we are trying very hard at getting our first big gift towards our final and big restoration, not restoration, excuse me, renovation, where we add on to the back of the theater. Because this was a movie house, there isn't a lot of backstage room. As a matter of fact, this backstage area is really what used to be a tiny stage that was behind the movie screens. And uh, if you look way down underneath today, there's you can still see the old footlights in the face of the uh, apron that's underneath the stage that we have today. Um, so that little tiny stage space has been turned into a backstage uh, for our actors, but there's no running water, there's no bathroom. And what we really need to do is consolidate a little more. We have an off-site uh, rehearsal hall and storage facility that what we really like to do is consolidate all this onto one piece of property so you don't have to go anywhere to get props, costumes, or sets. Uh, they're right here on, on, on uh, location, as well as rehearse. We'd like to have a rehearsal hall here. Wow, we're right now running Route 66 here at the Covedale. We have uh, the Sound of Music, as you well know, in production, in rehearsal. We uh, are currently lining up um, groups to come in and put on a children's series of performances next year here at the Covedale. Uh, we just had auditions for the second show at the showboat called A Dash of Rosemary. We're trying to cast that. At the same time, Al Bardet had auditions for the first show of the season at the showboat called Plaza Suite. And uh, that starts rehearsing March 19th. And then we've got what, another 10 shows this year that have to be directed, produced, and finished. Well, our offices today are here at the Covedale Performing Arts Center. 4990 Glenway Avenue, uh, 2416550 is the telephone number. And um, we used to have our offices on the showboat, so we moved off of there and we're now we're here. Also, go to the website is the best. 
CincinnatiLandmarkProductions.com.